Hey, how y'all doing? This is Mega Dweezil coming at you from the great Indiana desert out here, and we're uh, still dry. That very sparse rain, a lot of heat. It's supposed to be uh, up in triple digits again tomorrow. Um, <coughs> we're fighting to save these plants, and you know we're doing pretty good. But the uh, you know the thing is, we kind of planned for it. We uh, made our cistern here, and we've got you know enough water but you really do uh, get it as far as, you know, why people used to have a lot of kids around here, you know, and why it was that uh, that, that was considered resources that, uh, yeah, it takes a lot, you know, to keep a big garden watered by hand. And, uh, yeah, it's very manpower intensive. And, and uh, there's a lot of folks, I guess, on YouTube and other places, they want to tell you whether, you know, no, this is really easy. <laughs> well, no, uh -uh. or at least it's not out here. Um, you know, we find ourselves watering at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I, you know, and I'd have to say too, okay, that uh, people who think that they're going to go from an efficiency apartment in an urban area someplace and, and jump out into this, yeah, you know, and make any kind of a go of it, uh, you know, you really need to think again. I mean, this is uh, this is something. That, takes practice it's you know we're not very good at this yet it's you know it's taken us years to not get very good at it you know but uh, you know just a thought here is that uh, everybody wants to talk about you know shit hits the fan shit hits the fan and the thing is okay is, is that you know, when shit does hit the fan historically it hits at a shovel full at a time you know nobody puts a bullet in the newspaper and says hey you know, President Obama today declared that the shit has in fact hit the fan. It doesn't happen, you know. It happens a shovel full at a time. And uh, you get situations like this where stuff just gradually begins to get steadily harder and uh, drier and hotter. And it's not like you don't see it coming, you know, but, but, but people really have this weakness that they don't, they recognize events, they don't recognize the process. some reason we stopped a long time ago, um, you know, looking at the process, if we ever did, and now we just fixate on events, you know, stuff that takes place in 30 seconds or a minute, or, you know, stuff that they put on the crawl or flash up on the news screen, and, and uh, you know, you don't get the idea that, you know, days and weeks and years, stuff is headed in a given direction, and, and the direction that it's headed in is not particularly good, and we're, uh, we're seeing this out here that, you know, last year we had a few hot, dry days and, you know, and it killed some stuff. And so we got ready for it this year and we've had weeks, weeks of hot, dry weather like nobody around here has ever seen before. My dad was here in 1934 and uh, he tells me, no, it wasn't nothing like this. You know, there were some hot days. But... So, yeah, I think, you know, a lot of these people are probably right. You know, stuff is changing. And uh, it's not going to change all at once, you know. Nobody's going to send you a written invitation to the apocalypse. Nobody's going to send you out a, you know, a banner headline that says, "Okay, you know, now shit's serious." I mean, you got to stop and think. You know, how do we get four dollar gas? How do we get five dollar cigarettes? You know, it, uh, it didn't happen all at once. It happened a few cents at a time, and that's what we're seeing going on out here. It's just, you know, every season. It's getting a little drier and a little hotter and a little harder, you know, and we're having to become better at this, more conscious about, you know, the plants that we grow and the stuff that we're picking out to try and try and get to grow here, you know, within reasonable limitation. I mean, for folks who want to, you know, get, get a container and, and, you know, at the end of the year they come up with one tomato, you know, and it's a perfect tomato, good on you, you know, but you're not going to eat on that all winter. And uh, that's what we're trying to do is actually produce some kind of sustainable food source and uh, yeah you know uh, it's only going to get worse from here so you know not to be all doom and gloom man but uh, this is time to get ready you know when stuff is marginal you know and you can still do some stuff you know, and if you're waiting for somebody to you know to wave the green flag and say okay go uh, you know I don't know what to say you know you'll still be waiting when it's, you know, you just look around and it's shitty everywhere. And as usual, you know, we, the great human 
lament, you know, how the fuck did we get here? Well, we got here a little bit at a time. Anyway, don't worry, YouTube, because in the end, it's whole.